Let's go to the Northern Territory now because the opposition is calling for a review of the government's banned drinker register. Live to Matt Cunningham now in Darwin. Matt, what's prompted the call? Well, this comes after your interview on Tuesday, Laura, with uh, Damien Crook, the father of 20-year-old Declan Laverty, the young man who was stabbed to death at the Darwin Airport Tavern bottle shop last Sunday night. Now, when he spoke to you, uh, Damien Crook, uh, he said that uh, Declan uh, was often confronted with uh, angry customers after he'd been forced to refuse them service. The banned drinker register uh, means that a, a bottle shop attendant needs to scan uh, the licence of anyone who wants to purchase alcohol. If they're on that banned drinker register, uh, it scans red on the attendant's screen and the attendant's forced to refuse service. Damien Crook uh, told us that his son was regularly subjected to abuse and violence when he was forced to reject customer service. When he would deny people, it was always comments of um, racism, unfortunately, um, and saying that um, because he was doing his job, just he, he would get um, yelled at, spat at all the time. Now, the opposition has seized on these comments. The opposition leader, Leah Finocchiaro, is now calling for the government to conduct an urgent review of the banned drinker register. The banned drinker register represents set and forget policy of Natasha Files, who for six years has been a failed alcohol policy minister. There needs to be an urgent review into the banned drinkers register to make sure that it's not actually uh, costing people their lives and making sure that this isn't a greater threat to life than what already exists because of the crime crisis plaguing the Northern Territory. And Matt, Parliament has passed uh, new bail laws after Declan's death. So what is it actually mean? Well, we know the man accused of Declan's murder, 19-year-old Keith Karanua, was on bail at the time of that incident last Sunday night for a previous alleged aggravated assault with a bladed weapon. The Parliament has now passed on urgency new bail laws. It means that the presumption of bail for a violent offender armed with a weapon will be against bail. In the past, it had been neutral. Uh, the government says that this will make, will uh, improve community safety. The opposition, though, saying that this doesn't go far enough. If you are an offender who attacks someone with a broken glass bottle, you will still enjoy a presumption in favour of bail. And that does not meet the community's expectation. We did, of course, uh, report that story here on Sky News a couple of weeks ago, Laura, of uh, the truck driver from Alice Springs uh, who has lost sight in an eye after he had a rock thrown at him. That's been cited as uh, one example of a case where the presumption would still be in favour of bail for the alleged offender. Now, the uh, Chief Minister, Natasha Files, has called a press conference uh, that will be held in just over an hour's time. We're told that she's going to be making some more uh, announcements uh, when it comes to alcohol restrictions. OK, looking forward to that. Matt, thank you.